We're going in blind, everyone. It's a new dawn. It's the Los Angeles earphones from Urbanista, which are apparently solar powered. And I live in the Pacific Northwest where there is no solar power. What, these aren't earbuds, these are actually headphones. Blind. <laughs> this looks like the actual retail packaging. Let's see if I can get this out of here yeah. without actually opening it. <clears throat> there we go. Los Angeles. Los Angeles solar powered headphones. Always charging. Power foil by Exeger. It's a cool box. All the same crap there. There's no power above the moon. Why would they even put the moon on here then? They didn't enumerate all the other various circumstances where I'm not gonna get any power. Okay. Moonlight is the bad light. Okay, there's no moon power, guys. I'm sorry, that's V2. Let's just check them out though. Okay, we got a case and it looks uh, kind of nice. I like this little, little uh, what do they call that on a saddle? Bullhorn, holding that together. And what's this? A charging cable perhaps? They really don't stand by this infinite battery thing, do they? You know what, you know, that's why they have the moon on the back. If you use it at night, you're gonna need this. This case is interesting. It's uh, soft, it's actually squishy. It's probably cardboard or something, but there is a little squish to it. It's kind of rigid. Oh wait, maybe that's just the headphone. Yeah, yeah, that's just, <laughs> this doesn't have walls, so these walls are just stretchy like this. Cool, there they are. And yeah, I mean, it's not nothing. This case is all right. And here they are. They're all black. They're 40 millimeter drivers. They're dynamic drivers. Uh, left and right clearly marked here. I'm immediately thinking that this driver looks like it might touch my ears, which is the worst. That always hurts. The ear cups are Fairly squishy. They take a while to expand. They look like the kind of ear cups where if your ears are small, they might just go in there and then these would cease to be on ear headphones, but they, they are designed to be on ears. You can see these cups swivel, which is nice when you have them like this, because this can be, sometimes be a little scarfy. You know, you're on the bus and it's just, the windows are all fogged up. It's a winter and crap. When you're outside, it's good. When you're inside, you might want to lay that down. Although they really have a tendency to go fully there and then it's, Kind of weird, I feel like it's choking me out a bit. I really like the look, this like soft touch, I guess rubber finish on the plastic here is nice. The branding, the Urbanista kind of iconography there is cool. I can see there's some buttons, three buttons here. They're really tactile. Oh, sound is not consistent. Uh, looks like there's a microphone there. On the other cup, we've got a USB-C port and another button. That button's way louder. The headband, uh, we've got foam all the way around, but damn, that is thin. That basically just like looks like a thin veneer of leatherette over top of like something hard. And then it looks like it breaks right here. That's where there's actually some foam. And that, oh yeah, that does not look very pillowy. That looks like it's gonna compress and hurt right away. And it says power foil on the top, which I guess is the name of the technology. Uh, for the solar power. I guess, is that the solar po panel? The top, this whole thing? I'm told it's the same technology as the solar panel you see on like a calculator, and those never died. And they're way smaller than all this. Uh, let's put them on. Whoa, what? No, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, this is how big they are. This is our new short circuit merch, isn't that cool? You guys got merch. Yeah. You guys, I'm part, us? Am I, <laughs> do I work here? <laughs> Cool, you can get blue bananas. This is pretty dope. You know what, and this doubles as a uh, very discreet airline pillow. Oh, and there's the logo on there too. This is really cool. Don't try to peel it. All right, I wanna wear them. This is left. The caliper pressure is pretty tight. Yeah, my, my ear is like, this half of my ear is just immediately inside of that. Uh, which is probably not gonna be great. They don't go that small. I'm on the smallest setting now and I think I would leave it there. I don't have like a tiny dome. I have like a medium melon. So um, if you got a tiny dome, maybe look elsewhere. And this is as big as they get. If you got like just a huge knock and noggin, actuation of this is, seems to be friction based. It's not ratcheted, it's continuous. Oh, it just powered on, I heard the little voice. Yeah, they are. 76% charged. Now, 
I wonder if they'll go up as we sit here under these studio lights. Looks like there's three A and C settings. There's A and C on, there's ambient sound, transparency mode, and there's default. And I can hear a voice cue when I switch that. A and C, ambient sound, default. Nice. Draining, it's draining right now. Oh God, it's draining faster and faster. This is so cool that it shows you the rate of the, the drain. Um, wait, now it's gaining? Oh, wait a second, it's simultaneously gaining and draining, but overall it's draining. That's how I'm reading this. What's this button do? I don't know. Do I wanna look, why would I wanna look at a picture of it? I know what they look like. Okay, what does this do? There's a feature button, I'm guessing that's the big one. Long press on that same button, activate voice assistant, that sounds good. Or toggle the ANC and other stuff, yeah, okay. On ear detection, that's on. Music will pause when I take the headphones off. Decent settings, cool. Well, let's listen to the sound quality right after this message from our sponsor. Thanks to Corsair for sponsoring this video. Corsair recently launched their first gaming monitor, the Xenion. It features an ultra slim 32 inch QHD IPS panel up to 165 Hertz refresh rate, quantum dot technology, the best, with 100% sRGB, 100% Adobe RGB, and 98% DCI-P3 color gamma coverage, which is the one that matters. And that'll get you more vivid natural colors. Mount your camera, your mic, your lighting with an integrated multi-mount point built into the aluminum stand and learn more at the link below. Get a Xenion, guys. Why not? All Corsair build, let's go. You know what I'll give it is uh, they're pretty silent. They're not too creaky. That looks nice, eh? Put that in their marketing. Facebook meta. This one's pretty good. The bass is pretty good. Billy Eilish, you need the bass. The music's so like after party. -y. It's so like, meh, this bar is supposed to be closed right now, but it's not, you're allowed to smoke in here. Hold on, let me put you in transparency mode. Oh, it pauses the music and goes, A-N-C. Pause, ambient sound. What, what'd you say? Yeah, I don't think this is really doing much. Okay, it was, it was. It's not that aggressive though. It wasn't like really amplifying everything around me. Let's put the A-N-C back on. <sighs> the interruption's brutal. Oh, this album. This is a good hi-fi album. Pretty warm sound. This guitar sounds nice and soft. Left, left ear just sounds so much more prominent. Maybe I'm going deaf. The backwards, you gotta test the backwards on because if, you, if you're one of those weirdos, and I've been this guy who wears actual headphones to the gym and you're, you're holding dumbbells and you go down to like bench press or do flies or something laying down, I've worn headphones where they're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think with the $200 range, these sound okay. I'm okay, still gonna try some rock and roll music. You could be mine! Let's turn it up and see how harsh and crappy they sound. Or they get distorted. These uh, don't go that loud. Like This is louder than I want to listen to, but I could see myself maybe putting it up this loud in certain circumstances, and it's not that loud. Although I am listening to Tidal and sometimes um, it's just quieter. I find like I have to turn my AVR up higher than I would on YouTube music, for example. <laughs> Axel Rose, man. His <laughs> voice is hilarious. I'm satisfied I've made my final appraisal of this product. I think that they sound good enough. I think that a lot of um, what you're paying for is going to go to non oral properties such as the solar powered thing. But I think if the solar powered thing appeals to you at all, it has some value for you. Like if you're willing to pay 20 or $30 for that, I think the sound is like good enough for this price range. They don't sound markedly worse than like say, truly wireless earphones in that part price range. Although I'm not gonna sit here and say there's not $200 headphones that sound better than these. I mean, there are. But with that, with the look of them, the overall build quality, it's got the companion app. There's no EQ in the companion app, but I think these are like, they're decent value. Even if they didn't have the solar thing, they would still be like, all right. Without the solar thing, they probably should be like 130 or something though, maybe 150. The, the biggest thing you want to evaluate in a review, which this is not, is how well does the solar aspect of it work? And I can't do that right now. Yeah, let's see what happened after like three minutes of music, whatever that was. Searching for device again, come on, man. Baloney. Baloney. What? 
Dude, I can't get back. I can't get back into the app. I'm sorry, guys. We can't get back in. What does it say at Bluetooth power level? Still says 80. Cannot confirm or deny. I will say they don't seem to be. They're a bit heavier. They're a bit heavier, a little and bulkier than a normal headphone this size, but it's not really, not like too noticeable. The weighting of them, like you can tell, there's weight in the headband, but it's not onerous. I would be concerned about, again how comfortable they're gonna be after an hour, especially with the extra weight up there and the thin padding of the headband. But while I've been wearing them here, they've been fine. If I was going to LA, I probably wouldn't even bother bringing a, a cable. If I knew that, yeah, it's gonna be sunny from six to six, I'll just put them by the window. That's actually pretty sweet. Whatever I can do in my life to have a lighter kit, a lighter everyday carry, the best. Like if you have a car that doesn't need keys, or if you have an, a, a garage opener so you don't need a fob, if you have a, um, a pin pad, like a code on your door, you don't need house keys. I love that stuff. So if you're one of those people, these could be awesome for you. But if you don't mind just plugging your headphones in, like what, once every couple months? Honestly, my earphones that I use in the gym, uh, cause I'd never work out. I char I've charged them like <laughs> twice. Like I never have to charge them. So what are you really gaining? I don't know, your mileage may vary, but I think these, they don't suck. Of course, inconclusive findings on the solar panel. You know, another cool thing is there's no like striations on the solar panel. You can't see all the cells. It really just looks normal. No one would know that these are weird. So that's very cool and that's another bonus for them. But uh, yeah, you'll have to check out other in-depth reviews of this product to know what the recommendation is. I'm just saying right now, it's, it's, a, it's not a don't buy. So thanks for watching Short Circuit. If you like our headphone or earphone reviews, then check out more of them by me or Riley, the other earphone guy here. David, you've done them? Watch David's.